Hey guys, Sir Shuevi bringing you a gameplay commentary, and this is Black Ops 3, as you guys may be able to tell, just by the gameplay, without even looking at the title, which, to be fair, you probably would have clicked on the title of the video in order to come, then you you, you would have already seen it. Anyway, you know it's Black Ops 3. Um, <laughs> it's been quite a while since I've actually recorded a commentary. The last one I recorded, I believe, was a uh, kind of a review of Black Ops 3, and that was actually before I got the new equipment that I have now. That being said, I don't know if the equipment that I got is the best. I don't think it is because the microphone that I got is a stereo microphone. That being said, I am quite satisfied with it. I did a few testing recordings with this and also with the uh, Elgato uh, HD60, which I got as well. Both of those I got off of Amazon. They were on sale. I decided, why not upgrade? The HD60 is a fairly recent, uh, fairly new rather piece of equipment that commentators are using or game players on YouTube they're uh, they're using that software now which is good hardware rather uh, which is good and the blue yeti microphone I've always wanted to get the blue yeti microphone the only thing is I didn't realize how massive it is so I also bought a microphone stand for it but the blue yeti microphone is way bigger than the microphone stand uh, that being said I think I can actually buy a uh, a uh, mic stand adapter thing for the bottom of the Blue Yeti because it does have a little screw in type thing that I can potentially put the Blue Yeti on. And if I get the adapter, I can put that on the stand and then I'll be able to record better. Like, I could put the microphone in a good position and it won't just be on my desk right here, on like in front of me, below me. It'll actually be like in front of my face so I can relax. Right now, I'm leaning forward in order to be able to talk into the microphone with uh, good enough quality. I think, Roger or clarity that. rather, because if I leaned back, you guys probably wouldn't be able to hear me. I don't know if you can hear me from all the way back here, because this is how it would be normally. I don't know if you heard that. Um, but yeah, that audio back there was basically me sitting normally on my couch, and uh, I don't think it's probably going to be the best quality, so I'm just deciding, you know what, I'm going to suffer through this, whatever, uh, at least for a while. Then maybe later I'll get a microphone adapter for the stand that I bought as well. Then I'll just switch it over to the stand. And then, you know, I could have better commentary because then, then the microphone could be like right in front of my face. I could change the audio and the uh, settings so that that way it'll perform better, I assume. And the other thing that it would be able to do, the microphone adapter, is I would be actually be able to adapt, attach rather the pop filter that I have in front of me right now. Uh, I mean, it still works as it's supposed to, hopefully, but the thing is that the pop filter is supposed to attach to the microphone, and then it's supposed to go in front of the microphone. Now, the way that I have it now, I have it on this little wooden table, and that's basically my setup right now. I have my laptop on the table, I have the microphone on the table, and I also have the, the, uh, the pop filter clamped onto the table, and then I kind of maneuver the arm to be in front of the, of the microphone, the Blue Yeti microphone itself. And, uh, yeah, long story short, it's been a while since I've recorded the commentary, probably like two weeks now. And uh, for YouTube time, that's a very long time. But I'm going to try to be more active now because I have the proper equipment. That being said, I don't have an awesome laptop. But I do have at least the uh, right amount of, I don't know, GPUs. <laughs> uh, the right amount of processing power, at least, to be able to record a commentary and to record a gameplay at the same time, which is a good thing because the laptop or rather the uh, the gaming setup that I had excuse me the gaming setup that I had before wasn't really that good because I had the ITV HD which was good for component cables but it wasn't good with HDMI cables so when the PS4 and the Xbox One and the Wii U came out I was basically not able to record any of that just because I didn't have the right kind of cable um, I could buy I could have bought an adapter to go from HDMI to component but then that messes with the quality of the videos and the audio and I didn't really want to do that I just and not to mention it would be more expensive as well so I just said you know what later on down the road I'm just gonna upgrade to get an HD and uh, an Elgato HD which was normally the thing and it was just an HD uh, it was a high definition recorder and it recorded an HDMI and then a few, I think like a one year later or something, they came out with the HD60, which is this software that, or rather the software that I use to capture this video. And that records at 60 frames per second if you choose. Um, and it is a very good piece of hardware from what I've been seeing. Uh, the only thing is that this gameplay is a little bit laggy and that's not because of the uh, hardware that I have here. That's just because I recorded this off of theater mode. I actually played this game the day before I got the the um, Elgato 
delivered to my house. So this is actually, you know, a common a gameplay rather from like two days ago now. Actually, uh, three days ago now. And long story short, I was just legitimately pissed off at the end of this game. You guys might be wondering, why are you pissed off about this game? Well, the thing is... If you enter into a Call of Duty match, you generally want to be put into a team where, even if they suck, they're somewhat decent, you know? Some of them, half the team should go positive, the other half of the team should be around a 1kb. That's generally what you want, you know? That's optimal. Well, no, optimal would be having a team that is just beast mode, you know, you have a five-man party and you just happen to be the sixth man on the team and then you just wreck face because they already are they are already a team, they're already coordinating, you're just kind of doing your own thing and you still win. Uh, whether you do extremely well or not, that's an entirely different situation in and of itself. But that being said, as you guys can see, I am just going in, we're playing catch up this entire match, I'm putting my heart and soul into this game, I am basically carrying the team on my back I am being the best player possible for this game that I possibly can be um, without really having like any professional training or anything and as you guys can see we lose by one freaking point and I had 40 kills and three deaths how is that even a thing anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this random commentary I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye